Imagine if gravity worked in reverse. Water would simply rise on its own. But here's the strange truth. In plants, that's exactly what happens. This is capillary action, a phenomenon where water moves upward through tiny channels without a pump. You can watch it in action by dipping a celery stalk in dyed water and seeing the color creep toward the leaves. At the molecular level, it's a tug of war of forces. Adhesion pulls water to the walls of a channel, while cohesion keeps molecules linked together. The narrower the tube, the higher the climb. But here's the kicker. Capillary action isn't just a neat experiment. It's how grass, flowers, and even the tallest redwoods move water upward through their xylem. In giant trees, capillary rise is joined by the pull of evaporation from leaves, creating negative pressure that tugs water skyward. And yet, scientists caution, capillary action alone cannot explain how water rises over 100 meters. The full story is still being unraveled, with debates over cavitation, pressure limits, and the ultimate height a tree can reach. So the next time you see water soak through soil or rise in a candle wick, remember, it's the invisible engine of life. Do you think nature has already reached the tallest possible tree, or could evolution push it higher? Comment your thoughts.